Hello everyone, Joel Peter here. So today I'm gonna to be showing you something really interesting involving the Nintendo Switch, custom firmware, and well, repacking NSP files into XCI files. I'm running SXOS, which by Team Executor is a great piece of firmware. It does cost money. And the reason I'm doing this is because my Switch has a USB hard drive connected to the Switch dock. And I wanted to show one of the beautiful things about custom firmware. So we're gonna go ahead and boot up Borderlands running on a Switch. Okay, great. Now we actually have access to the game and we can see kind of what's going on. Again, there is a 60 FPS patch that is for this. And in a moment here, we'll actually show some more gameplay. The very fact that you could run Borderlands on a Switch is mind blowing, but it's working. It's working just fine. You're able to play your game as normal. So perfect. So we zoom in, all that works. No issues at all game works saves everything's fine so if we go to system settings you'll see borderlands is nowhere to be seen it's a file right and that's thing you could run this stuff with a usb c otg on the go cable you're able to use a flash drive or a hard drive or an ssd or something like that so you can have all your games loading as quick as possible to be able to load up those games again go to here against all your files and bada bing bada boom hit start software good to go and once again, completely loading up just fine, absolutely no problems at all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and cut to how this process works. All right, so now you can see here we have our program nscb.exe. We're going to go ahead and run that. And for our Borderlands, we're going to go ahead and choose multi-pack mode. Okay, we're going to choose option two, press enter. We're now going to go ahead and drag our file over. We have that in our folder called work. Drag that into here. We're going to press enter from here. We're going to go ahead, press one, and then we're going to choose XCI. For update, we're going to go ahead and choose zero. So no, we don't want it to patch the required system version. And we're going to go ahead and choose the most important one, merge all files into a single file. Press option one. And now it's going to do its thing. Because if we were to look into the work folder, the, the game itself is six gigs and the game of the year update is eight gigs. All right, the update is pretty massive. If we go to output, we'll see it's right here, 14 gigs. That is how simple it is to make your own XCI files from NSP backups. Hopefully this helps you out. My name is Joel Peter. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.